Welcome to Channel Results, where we play a different deck list every video. I'm Country Pride, and today, Budget Mono Red. Let's take a look. Welcome back, and we're going to give Kevin a day off. So, let's take a look at this uh, Budget Mono Red, Hasty Red, and if you stick around to the end, I'll give you a couple ideas of what we could do to upgrade the deck list. But here we go. There's just been a couple of things that we've changed out, but uh, for the most part, it's still the same. It's just a really fast mono red deck. Uh, so you tempo, and if you get to turn four and five, you're either closing out the game or you can just concede and push on. So if you're wanting to grind the ladder for fast games and you don't want to put in a bunch of rares and a bunch of mythics and all you've got is a bunch of commons and uncommons, then this deck list is for you. We have four kumanos in here as a one drop. It's an enchantment. It comes in, it deals one damage to your opponent. Then on turn two, the first creature you play gets a plus one, plus one counter on it. And then, of course, turn three, you exile, bring it back in, and you've got a 2-2 two -two hasty creature. We also have four phoenix chicks in here as a 1-1 one -one, uh, flying with haste. We have four rabbit batteries as 1-1s one with haste that you can reconfigure and attach to something. So if there is removal, they have to remove the creature that's above rabbit battery. Rabbit battery drops off. So if a sweeper comes through, you've still got the rabbit batteries. We also have Reinforced Ronins as one drops in here, which I absolutely love because this card I absolutely hate playing against. It is a one drop 2-2 uh, two -two with haste, and then of course at the end of turn it returns right back to your hand, so you got to cast it each time. We have uh, Valderian Epicure in here as a 1-1-1 one, one, one drop. It doesn't have haste, but when it comes in it drops a blood token, which gives us something to draw off of. So if we're getting flooded or droughted and we need the mana or we need to get rid of mana and get something else in our hand, then we can use the blood token for that. And this is usually my favorite two drop to come in off of Kumanu to get the extra plus one, plus one counter if we have it in hand. We also have a two drop electrostatic infantry. It's got trample, again, no haste, but whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, you get to put a plus one, plus one counter on electrostatic infantry. Um, for our spot removals, we've got a couple of the Flame Blessed Bolts in here because it still helps us remove Tenacious Underdogs and it exiles them once it kills them. So that way they don't go to the graveyard and they can't blitz them back in. We have Play With Fires that we can either shoot creatures down with for removal or we can hit our opponent with it and scry one uh, for two damage. We also have Lightning Strike in here, which is two, cat, uh, two cost, one colorless, one red. It deals three damage to any target, including your opponent, if you need to go over the top. And then we have Rending Flame in here as a three drop, two colorless, one red. And Rending Flame deals five damage to target creature or planeswalker. And if a permanent is a spirit, Rending Flame also deals two damage to that permanent's controller. We're really just looking for the five damage. This is our Shieldred wipe right here. So if we're waiting for them to drop a Shieldred on turn four, we can pull it off the board with this if we have it in hand. And that's what I mean by getting to turn four or five. This just gets us one more turn usually to close out the game. And then by turn five, if you don't have it closed out, this deck doesn't really have legs. And then we also got three Thrill of Possibilities, which we can cast as an instant. One colorless, one red, and it is an uncommon. As an additional cost to this, you discard a card and you draw two cards, and that's just to help us get us more fuel in the hand, which is what this deck list wants to do. It just wants to keep going and go fast, and it wants to close the game out. And you usually got to close the game out by turn five. Uh, if you go into six, if you can't go over the top and close it out, then you usually lost. And that's just when you can just concede and push on. And that's why I like using this on the ladder. And then, of course, for the lands, we've got 20 basics in here. And that keeps it at budget. Commons and uncommons only. So there you guys go. That's Hasty Red. Let's take a look at the gameplay. Stick around to the end of the video. I'll give you some ideas some, of some other stuff that you can dump into the uh, deck list as well. But until then, stay safe, be happy, and healthy. I hope you guys enjoy it. Have a great weekend. Peace. All right, opponent goes first. Uh, yeah, man, hand looks fine. We'll keep. Drop like that. We have flame bless bolt set up in case if they're running anything that we need to remove right away. That would be something that we would want to remove right away. So let's go ahead and drop chicken. Let's go ahead and 
get rid of Beast Collar. Let's go. Let's see what they got to remove with. We're gonna go ahead and attack him first. Yeah. See if they want to block it. Um. Yeah, I kind of do want to get it. Roast Master down, so we got a blocker. Don't have to worry about Beast Collar coming in. We start doing damage over the top with these two. We can, depending on if we get another land on this one. I would like to find a lightning strike. Hmm. All right, so we'll go here. Start shooting over the top. cycle out the blood token if they even follow through as this turn they would have to get a lot of blockers We get a burn spell we're good just one burn spell that hits any target we're good yeah ggs all right there you go cheap red budget red this month's patreon rewards features the amazing tutor pack with some of the most powerful tutors in magic's history if you'd like to learn more or sign up today please visit our patreon at patreon.com slash it resolves all right, we go first. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I like it. We'll keep. So we're in a pretty good position. We could grab a battery and connect it to something. They're holding something, so I'm guessing a burn spell. They're just trying to figure out what they want to burn. I'm guessing they want reinforced Ronin. keep it not attached right now we'll attach it afterwards because that way we don't have to worry about them blowing up whatever we were trying to attach it to i mean that's turn three and 11 points of damage Woo, brother you got issues man Punching yourself in the face. We have lightning strike too. So, unless they can just stop what we've got going, we'll put Ronan out to see if they want to uh, counter it or kill something that we've got. But I mean, unless they put out something that. I'm not expecting 
Unless I got spot removal, spot removal. Which I could have. Okay. So. That's how fast that game went. Roger Raid, man. Baller. <laughs> All right, GG's. <laughs> All right, we go first and looks beautiful. We'll keep. Don't drop anything we got to kill right now. Consider fading hope. Fading hope. Some model blue shit, boy. Fading hope again. Okay. All right. Sure. Need more mana to be able to pull this off on the terror if that's what they're lining up for. Are they really considering gin right now? I mean, if they do, that's fine, but. Gonna try it. I'd imagine they gotta make this appear eventually. Essence scatter. It's fine. Sure. So this is gonna take them down to seven. Need to play with fire because I, I do oh or we just need to you know cook them faster than they can counter us ggs all right we go first yeah i like it we'll keep Sure, my dude. Sure. If we get a land, we'll have Ringing Flame open. If we don't get a land, put Static Shock on the board here. I would really like to get a land. Land, please. 
No land. That's fine. We can't play around with them too much because they can get out of hand fast. So they're trying to look for some type of removal because their land situation is going to be fine. Now, are they going to sack to kill something? It's kind of the question. All right, land it is. Um, so, hmm. Let's go. We get the other Phoenix chicken. We're going to lose something. That's fine. It's in the air. Fine. That sucks. Now it's out of range of cut down. Sure. Yep. Pop and find, pop and find. All right. We have things going on. Fine, fine. Don't need to do a whole lot of damage on the next one. I would prefer a play with fire right off the top. That would be amazing. Come on, man. Give me a burn spell. It's questionable. So close. So close. Give me a burn spell. Nice. GG's, brother. GG's, my guy. Yeah, I'd be mad too. GG's.
All right, guys. So there you go. That was budget mono red. And uh, I mean, we've got options that can keep it as a budget deck and still kind of give it some different feel. Uh, we got sticky finger strangle, a braid and cathartic pyre that could all go in here. Cathartic pyre could give you some damage or some possible card draw. I did remove I was playing with this for a little while, but I removed it and put in the rending flame just so we've got a, a spell in here that can uh, do some more damage to remove some of the bigger creatures that we need to. Um, and then, of course, a braid deals three damage to a target creature or a target artifact. Strangle, three damage to target creature or target planeswalker. And then sticky fingers, you can enchant creature, and it has menace. And then whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player, you create a treasure token. And then if the creature dies, you get to draw a card. So these are still some good options that keep you in budget that you could add to the deck list. But to go outside of budget and start using your rares and your mythics, Definitely Bloodthirsty Adversary is a hasty two drop that you'd like to put in here. Uh, Reckless Storm Seeker is another hasty creature that you could utilize, which uh, I think everybody knows what it is. It's three drop, it's two, three. And then at the beginning of combat, you get to put plus one, plus zero on a creature and give it haste. And you're usually utilizing that with Storm Seeker. And then, of course, Thundering Rise, you could be your type top end. Um, you've got Burn Down the House as an option in here, but you really don't want to go to the five drop slot. At least I don't, because you, you, don't, you want to close the game out by turn five. You're really not worried about wiping the board or anything like that. And as far as dropping the three one one Red Devils, we have enough damage output between the creatures and the uh, burn spells that we've got going on. Uh, Shivan Devastator is another one that you could throw in here. It is an X and a red, and then, of course, it's got flying and haste, and it gets plus one, plus one, where the uh, plus one, plus one counters equals to what X was when you cast it. If you did want to change up the lands and go outside of budget as well, you could probably put in a, cu a couple of Crucible of Defiances. It wouldn't slow you down. Uh, the only thing, you don't want to go more than a couple because if you get three or four, you might double them up in hand. And if you don't get the mana to cast for the two one ones, then of course they're legendary lands. You can't drop them in on top of each other. You can only have one on the board at a time. So I only say that because I forget it and I try casting legendary lands into legendary lands sometimes. But there it is, guys. That's hasty, cheap, red, budget red, whatever you want to call it. But, uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. It's really easy to knock out the red dailies with that or cast so many creature spells or kill so many creatures. Uh, we got the spot removal. You just focus on what your daily is. You get in there. You rip out your daily. And then you move on to another deck, and you keep climbing the ladder. And it is a lot of fun. It does a lot of damage output, and it still hangs tough in there. So it still runs at about a 55 60%. Uh, depending on what we run into for the day. But, uh, yeah, it's got legs. It's got legs, but uh, not during the matches it doesn't. It's got legs enough to have a win percentage, but not legs enough to get you past turn five or six. Uh, you really need to be closing out on those turns, or you might as well just concede and push out and go to the next game. And sometimes the draw does that to all of us. So with that, guys, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up there. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, it was just another look at Budget Mono Red. We got a new set coming out. I've seen a lot of hate hasty uh, mono red creatures in there a couple of them that would fit right inside the budget as well i'm looking forward to it and i just wanted to revisit it before the new set releases so with that guys i hope you guys enjoyed it stay safe be happy and healthy have a great rest of your weekend i'll see you guys tomorrow with one more video peace we'll see you guys